Hello friends and welcome to another quick MarioMayhem.com video. Today it's time to venture back to the mysterious 90s with my and Mr. Miyamoto's favourite Mario game, Super Mario World. Sit back, relax and enjoy these 8 facts and oddities from the epic SNES classic. Starting with number 8, we have Nine Inch Nails Tribute. Keeping with the Koopalings musician names, it seems like Nintendo America enjoy a bit of rocking out. The bosses you fight at the end of the fortresses are known as Renzors, and are actually named after the Nine Inch Nails rock band founder, Trent Renzor. Number 7. Five Up We are all familiar with the traditional One Up, and even the rare Three Up Moon, but Five Up? That's gone too far. Perhaps the game's creators disagree though, for found in the game's unused data is a Five Up sprite. You can actually get a Five Up in the game too, by bouncing on Wrigglers or using a Game Genie but the sprite renders upside down and back the front due to an error in the coding. Number 6. Delicious Dolphins Those of you familiar with our Yoshi video will remember this fact, so I'll be brief. Long story short, in the Japanese version of Super Mario World, Yoshi was able to eat the jumping dolphins, but this ability was removed in the Western release. This dolphin eating functionality was added back into the Game Boy Advance version, however, so if you enjoy yourself some dolphin, go and get a Game Boy. Number 5. Near Raccoon Playability Early release screenshots of Super Mario World show the return of Raccoon Mario and the Leaf. Obviously this was changed to the cape, but there are still unused Raccoon and Leaf sprites on an old test cartridge used by Nintendo for controller and cons console diagnosis. Number 4. Special World SNES Logo Did anyone not notice this Easter egg when they played? Just in case anyone missed it, the logo shown in the special world is actually the Super Nintendo's logo. At number 3, we have Sunken Ghost Ship Origins. Remember the haunted ship you have to swim through to get to World 7? The game manual actually informs us that this ship was a destroyed airship used by the Koopalings in Super Mario Bros. 3. Number 2, Yoshi's Mailbox. If you had too much spare time as a kid, you might have wondered, what on earth is that weird symbol on Yoshi's letterbox? Well, want to know more? This mysterious symbol is actually the logo for Japan's Postal Service. And finally at number one we have Caged Mario. The original game might have included a flying cage that housed Mario and was carried by four birds. Obviously this caged madness didn't make it to the final cut, but the code can still be found on the cartridge even if the graphics are incomplete. This certainly would have added a different element to the game, and I'm not sure what the intention behind it was, but it's an interesting piece of cut content nonetheless. Anyway, that's it for today, guys, so let's take a look at your responses to the previous question of the day, which was, if you had your own flood, what would be the first thing you would do with it? So thanks again, everyone, for your amazing and creative comments on the last video. They are all really appreciated, and here are, here are a few of the standouts for everyone to enjoy. So, Coney said uh, they would hover around and wet people and also give their dog a bath. I thought that was a pretty good response. Brian was a bit more responsible. He said he would give it to firefighters to help put out fires. Dcrafter123 was very responsible too and said he'd probably do nothing because of the water crisis we're in. It was a pretty good answer. Um, Diamond Dan said he would uh, spray it on the Mario's worst game ever. Mario teaches typing, and I'm not sure if there's some irony there as well. But the slow Luigi clap goes to Nico F, who said he would win every water gun fight. And a few of you had similar answers, so thank you again to Nico and everyone else that made a comment and liked the video. It's much appreciated. And today we'll leave you with the question, what would, you, what would have to be on a higher platform for you to sacrifice Yoshi with an extra jump? Would it be some cake? Free pizza? A distressed family member? Get as creative as you like with this one, guys. Um, have a bit of fun. So let us know your thoughts in the comments below, and the best, most cre creative answer will be featured in our next video. Also, don't be afraid to like other people's comments if you think they are good too. It's always nice to get a like. And that's it for today, friends. I hope you enjoyed these eight Super Mario World facts and oddities. Don't forget to su subscribe if you haven't already. Keep those comments and likes coming, and we'll see you soon.